friends once again welcome back to my youtube channel i welcome you all on this platform in today's video lecture i would be talking about why mr president ghani of afghanistan is meeting with the president of america mr biden in this video lecture we would be trying to to get or understand uh, what kind of guarantees or the assurances or what kind of help is being sought by mr ghani from the biden uh we would be covering all these issues in this but before i would love to give you certain newspaper insight that are covering on this issue of afghanistan is american troops are withdrawing from afghanistan and ghani is in america for certain reasons biden pledges us support to embattled afghan leaders that says al jazeera reuters says biden calls on afghanistan to decide their future uh, is withdrawal nears a kind of indication biden has given to the ghani that it is you uh, are you are the people of afghanistan who have to decide what do you want because uh, because talb uh, because american signed an agree kind of agreement a kind of doha agreement and they are uh, they are withdrawing their troops and the second step that was in the peace process that was intra afghan talks means talks between afghan government and taliban that's why biden is say, biden is of the view that it is all about afghan people who have to decide there's not there's no such role uh, of, of pakistan there's no such role of america now what kind of a uh, kind of agreement that that has to be placed in in afghanistan about a uh, uh, kind of government about uh, about the future of afghanistan future of the women rights future of the educate girls education their other rights it is solely being decided by the afghan people america uh, america has has made a kind of mind that they are not going to win a war that's why they are uh, they are bringing their troops back whatever pakistan could have could have done pakistan have already done because pakistan was asked to bring taliban on the negotiating table pakistan brought those taliban on the negotiating table pakistan was asked to make them to kind of agreement of the americans make an agreement with the americans pakistan also did but now when uh, when troops are leaving uh, is is uh, prime minister imran khan ali mentioned that the, the the a kind of force has already diminished a kind of a influence on taliban of pakistan a kind of influence that pakistan had on taliban has already diminished so now uh, is per biden it is up to the afghans who have to decide Biden meets the president Ashraf Ghani of Afghanistan White House. This is also from financial uh, other newspaper. This is Ken Biden says Ashraf Ghani. When uh, before going to start the the pros of uh, the lecture in in detail, I would love to give you some background. As when the Americans came in in Afghanistan to kill or to hunt Osama bin Laden, the person who was a head of Al Qaeda, the person who carried out you can say uh, attacks on America, uh, Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda, Al Qaeda twenties uh, hijacked certain airplane and they they hit with the twin towers, Pentagon, uh, uh, Pentagon or White House and some other building, Congress, some hit and some missed their target. so so to kill, to kill those the terrorist american america under the president of uh, mr bush launch kind of uh, operation that was war on terror afghan uh, americans came there they spent two decades there spent two billions two trillion dollars there and lost almost 3000 their soldiers spite of that uh, with no clear victory in sight now they have decided to leave afghanistan is when when the when earlier uh, earlier president of america was donald trump now the president is biden earlier president biden uh, donald trump is of the view that these are the unending and useless wars so when he was in the office he declared that he will end those and for that he started a kind of the peace process with the taliban and he kind of concluded agreement of us troops withdrawal when biden came he continued with this uh, with that proposal that uh, troops would be withdrawn and as per now 50% troops have already withdrawn rest are remaining and rest would be uh, would be would be leaving afghanistan in in certain phases now in such a situation when troops are leaving far means you can say with a fast approach american troops nato troops and other troops the foreign troops that were present 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 in afghanistan that were kind of 
a shield to the afghan government they were providing certain kind of security training to the afghan forces uh, and uh, the, those those were kind of uh, help for the afghan forces the uh, the americans uh, american air force also helped the uh, afghan people or afghan uh, afghan national army to counter uh, taliban in this situation when americans are leaving when nato forces are leaving there is a huge problem for afghan government afghan government is not in a position to face taliban already when when even at the present time some troops are even in the present time are in afghanistan taliban have increased their fighting and due to which they have gained more districts and there are certain intelligence us intelligence reports that within 6 uh, months when uh, us would uh, us troops would be withdrawn within 6 month the kabul or uh, you can say kabul government would fall and whole afghanistan would come under control of taliban now in such a situation the ghani government is facing a serious problem and that's why they went to the america to the to meet with the biden and got certain assurances and certain kind of help that they would be giving certain help or you can say economic uh, aid to the to the afghans that they, they would be fighting this kind of uh, uh, commitment was made, was being given to the biden to the ghani 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 went america to got certain commitment that the financial aid would be there like there would be more us troops would be a kind of troops would be available there and that's why a certain announcement came that uh, some 600 troops would be there to support the the americans officials american embassy personnel and certain others uh as to this announcement taliban has declared this is kind of violation to their agreement however ghani went there to got certain support in in such a situation when taliban are gaining more control and ghani also went there to to make realize biden that they have made a mistake to early withdrawal because uh, after the withdrawal of the us troops the second step in the peace process in afghan peace process was a taliban and government intra talks now taliban are not in a not are in a, in a mood to to hold a talks with the afghan government and afghan government is is not in a position to bring taliban in the government they believe ke when taliban would come in the government they would be revoke they will be able, they will bring a kind of the end Uh, to the to, to to the rights that uh, women have got to the girls have got to the uh, to the minorities have got so they are also not in a position to bring uh, the you can say taliban in the government so th- there is a st- there is a kind of uh, you can say a pass or there is no uh, moving of the peace process in any direction as i earlier told there was a 4000 uh, us soldiers are present now those all would be withdrawn and as per now 2021 us biden administration has out 600 troops would be there to support the embassy staff and other americans and uh, not only this those afghans who who also held american troops in interpretation translation they were also being given visas and they are being flown to the australia one interesting development of an interesting announcement that came from the biden administration when ghani went in america media that was afghans have to decide their future means americans do not want to get a blame of their withdrawal because when when withdrawal is going there are likely chances for civil war and many times prime minister of pakistan foreign minister of pakistan has already said pakistan would not be made a scope escape goat of any failure in afghanistan because whatever pakistan could have done pakistan have already done if there is any problem if there is any civil war if there is any blood shed uh, that would be in afghanistan after us withdrawal pakistan should not be made scape goat of or there should be not criticism or blame game on pakistan so that's why biden administration has already indicated to the ghani that that you people have to decide it a kind of compromise need to come from some kind of compromise need to be made from taliban some kind of compromise need to be made from the gov from the afghan government because these are the people who would be suffering most most 
and the next the, the country that would be suffering from such offensive is pakistan so there should be a, a there should be a, there must be a kind of compromise in which both in which the concerns of the both countries from the taliban and from the afghan government must be uh, realized and and ghani should realize that with the heavy machinery we being the superpower of the world being uh, or having the largest economy in the world if american troops with the with the spending of two decades and trillions of dollars they were unable to defeat taliban or even the russians were unable to defeat taliban how the afghan army who in the recent time is surrendering in many districts would be in a position to defeat taliban definitely the in in such a situation the conflict will go for the long there would be a problem of huge refugees problem there would be a civil war there would be bloodshed in the end it would be taliban in, in the end it would be tal it, it would those would be the taliban who would be gaining the control and the whole losers would be afghan people and their negative impact would be whole on the afghan people because there would be no americans to help our assist afghan government and uh, prime minister imran khan was very right when he, when the question was asked that pakistan would be providing pakistan would uh, will pakistan would be providing the certain military bases to the americans Uh, prime minister imran khan was right when he said uh, when pa- when americans were inside afghanistan uh, being there for 22 for 20 years in in such situation if they were unable to defeat taliban how come they would be defeating defeating taliban by having or maintaining military bases in pakistan so pakistan was very right he was very right in approach that they are not going to provide military bases to the uh, uh, americans so as i said these would be those would be afghan people who would be suffer more and they are very right to read taliban have rightly said if you are maintaining 600 troops it means there is a violation and you are not doing a complete withdrawal so taliban have made their announcement there should be complete withdrawal if not then they will attack so far for year for one year taliban have not attacked american and nato troops means they have made their agreement up to the up to the situation so far uh, turkey has uh, turkey has also made offer to the america for for that they will provide the security to to give security to the kabul airport and biden and erdogan meet when they were meeting in the nato summit and they have agreed that turkey would be taking care of the kabul airport uh, that i will make in another video why turkey is providing uh, them uh, the personnel for the kabul airport uh, for 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 on the lighter note i want to bring in your, in your mind turkey is doing so to to mend their relations with the americans those relations that were being strained when turkey bought s400 or when americans supported see uh, kurdish forces right that uh, turkey consider as 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 a terrorist so for 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 this turkey is trying to improve their relation with americans for this they are they are are willing to provide military kind of personnel in for kabul airport security i hope you got some kind of insight in the matter why ghani went in america ghani went america there to got or got certain assurance from biden administration assurance a kind of financial support support for the for afghan training a kind of a drone of means you can say there was a there was the visit was being made to get financial support and military support and biden was very right when he when he said it is to the afghans who need to decide and definitely i will also bring this video on this note afghan afghan people afghan leadership afghan taliban have to decide that it is it is a right time for them to to end the the past end the conflict and move forward in a progressive uh, progressive way that benefit all the people in afghanistan and uh, the this cannot be made possible without compromise all the parties all the stakeholders must must be brought in the government and wherever there is a hold of those people there should be a kind of compromise without compromise one cannot say uh, one cannot come out any formula that there would be a dominancy of the one group there is northern alliance there is a taliban there is a government and such other groups so so there should be a compromise that should be acceptable to all thank you so much allah hafiz